Fubara, rivers were liberated yesterday. God liberated river state, Sarah Igbe says. <laughs> that is for liberation, no? so it means that people are getting off the shackles of uh, Nguike in river state. That is what it means. I know that the attempt to pitch Fubara was not successful as Fubara and his men were able to take charge of the state and took control of every situation. And uh, right now, he's back at his work. Okay, the people trying to impeach him have all been uh, discarded. So it means that uh, it's a liberation. But let's go ahead, dive into the details and see what Sarah Igbe is trying to say. His Highness Anabs Sarah Igbe, the National Coordinator South-South Leadership Forum, stated his opinion that yesterday was like a liberation for River State, pointing out that God himself liberated the state in a response to the... Um, you know, to the reported plot to impeach River State Governor Siminalai Fubara. He thought that the state had gained independence or relief as a result of the leadership transition. Sarah Igbe stated that it's, uh, it is regrettable that the former governor is accused of orchestrating the entire impeachment process in an, uh, in, in an interview to Arise TV. He claimed that the former governor and his allies had received harsh criticism from the peoples of River State. Yesterday was like a liberation for River State, he claimed. Yesterday, River State was freed by God. The former governor and his allies were roundly denounced by the people of River State. They referred to what they did yesterday as the, the Kavite Mutiny or Coup. It is quite regrettable. That the former governor himself appointed this governor they planned a coup against the people of river state as well as a few against the governor therefore the residents of river state are content because the current governor is essentially a lame duck and the previous governor continues to oversee state uh, activities how can you imagine he said the current governor is a lame duck so me that uh, he has been so gentle and so quiet that he is not able to manage the state. Uh, but then he has proven that he's not a lame duck. He has been able to sit with his people and now he has been able to take charge of the state. I'm sure whoever he's working with that has helped him to achieve this must be a powerful person, I tell you. So what is how Saragbe is trying to tell us here is that the rivers has been liberated. Liberated from where? The incident that took place had freed the people of River State from the grips of Mwiki and had also given heart and strength to Fubara to start working as a man now and no more as a lame duck, as he was referred to in this uh, message. <laughs> not a small thing. I tell you, and that is why Mwiki is saying that he will fight. He is not going to let go so that he will not be rendered politically irrelevant in the state. It means that even after now, he will continue to pull his triggers, continue to pull his buttons to ensure, uh, or press his buttons to ensure that uh, he regain the control of River State. He said, according to his words, that he doesn't want to be politically irrelevant because River State is his base. Fubara wants to cut him off. He cannot open his eyes and see Fubara cut him off from his base. Otherwise, he will be made politically irrelevant. Now, wow. So it means that his interest is what is driving him and not the interest of the people of uh, River State. Quite an unfortunate situation, uh, but how long will Nguike continue to control that state? He should focus on his uh, assignment as minister and leave River State uh, alone. As I say, Nguike is a political flitch, hmm. like the tale of the one-man show. I was more in the world still there ahead of liberation of this kind does not come cheap, sir. So you fight for it. Exactly. So it is not over. In fact, Mickey has even declared that it is not over. He will never let River State go because River State is his base and uh, he cannot allow anybody, including the governor, to cut him off from his base. So it means that this war is not finished yet. So don't, don't, it is too early to celebrate. Just make sure you have a structure in place to continue this war. So the people of River State should punish Wiki, should banish Wiki from uh, from River State. <laughs> now it's Martino. 
it is truly liberation for river state people. The governor must flush out all wicked elements and take full control now. He must shun any meeting with uh, any meeting with Wiki or where Wiki pressure will be mounted on him to compromise. He should learn from Ngigi and Obaseki. Himself must not plan to play God for that reason to anyone after his tenor. Exactly. And somebody say you are on point. That is exactly the way it should be. Uh, Ngigi should allow him to be. Sarah Igbe, when Wike strategically brought out Sim Fubara to succeed him, where were you? When Wike carried out the campaign as a load on him, how did you support him? Stop the propaganda against Wike. Do you have any evidence to prove that Wike strategically planned the impeachment against Sim Fubara? Please, let's see what we have evidence for and stop the propaganda against Wike. Go and sleep. This person must be a Wike person. But it is too late, really too late. And somebody is right here. People perish easily because of Colin Black White. The news that said he demanded two billion from five billion palliatives. Have you investigated it? He said yesterday every politician has an interest in doing something. Get wise early. Exactly. So Mike statement alone has proven that he has interest in River State and is the person that wants to hold the state. Yeah? He's the person that wants to hold the state. Wiki wants to hold the state. Yeah? Wiki wants to hold the state. And somebody say, it seems you are not from River State. High Chief Sarah Igbe has always been a strong critic of Wiki and his uh, dictatorial tendencies. Wiki must be, pun must be pushed away from the state because he's anti-democratic and uh, an election rigger and bezler and very self-centered. Exactly, indeed. Fubara is God sent to River State people. Huh. Now it's what it means that Mwike is finished. Mwike is finished. He's hated in his own place and is obviously going to be put down. He's not going anywhere. For Mwike to say that he single-handedly put the governor in office clearly shows that there was no election in River State and the will of the people of River State was not represented. That is what transpired during the presidential election. The devil has built a tent in his heart. Now, this you know, pride, they say, goes before a fall. We are only humans. What we be, we be. Hmm. In my 19 years living in Port Harcourt, we only know election day. 80% of people here don't go out to vote for fear of being killed because it's always bloody. And that is it. Eh? Uh, somebody is telling him, so you have been, in, oh, this is Mohammed Omar, says, so you have been in River State for 19 years. Get ready because we are going to give you chief transit title tomorrow. <laughs> that is what you know. Uh, so I'm happy that River State people came out and stood up for their governor. Uh, Mwike should allow people uh, peace to reign in River State. Let him concentrate on his uh, new appointment as a minister of federal capital territory. That is it. We get 25% of River's money in his pocket. That is what he wants, but he's not going to get it. Okay? He wants 25% of River's money in his pocket. He's not going to get it. Everybody in a criminal. Eh? Now, wow. Satan has been put to where he belongs. Shame to the enemies of River's and Nigeria. Destroyers and generic thieves. That's exactly what they are. So, thank you for listening. And let's have your comment. Uh, that is what Sarah Igbe is saying, that River State has been liberated by God.